Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. I know I spend a little bit too much time researching other things, but I'm always in the quest of finding things that are good for my health. Now this is not medical advice, and take it as, as you would on anything that you do without um, contacting your physician or anything. I'm not one of those people who contact my physician for anything, because I don't like him, but that's beside the point. Anyways, um, anyways, the other day, um, I was looking through Facebook, and there's this one people that keep coming up on their um, shorts and stuff. I guess it's through TikTok or whatever. But anyways, there's this thing about oregano oil. Um, I don't mind oregano oil. I can't handle um, Italian seasoning for whatever reason right now, but I can still do oregano oil, and I can do... Um, I can't think of the other one right now. But anyways, so what she said to do was to, um, you know, put it in a jar like I did that salve and, um, you know, wait the six weeks or whatever. But I'm assuming you could do this the same way. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, I have a little uh, two or four ounce dropper. I think a four ounce dropper, I want to say. And um, what I'm going to do is once this is done is I'm going to pour some in each one of the droppers. And um, I guess you place a drop underneath your tongue every day. It's supposed to help with things like um, fighting bacteria, um, treating small intestinal bacteria, overgrowth, treating fungal infections, providing antioxidants, reducing inflammation, healing wounds, repelling in insects, relieving pain, aiding in weight loss, fighting cancer, relieve menstrual problems, prevents allergies supposedly, Heals respiratory disease, maximizes dig digestion, uh, relieves stomach discomfort, helps with diabetes and skin conditions. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different ones if you look, you know, what are the uses of um, oregano oil. And there are oregano oil supplements also that you can take. I've seen those on Amazon today. So I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to do this the same way, like I said, that I did with the salve. I can't remember candula oil um, that Tammy and Ben um, had showed me. So I'll bring it down and this is what we'll do here. So I have my um, pint jar because like I said, I'm only do doing that small amount. And they said to fill the pint jar. And this is, I'll show you here. This is actually a, um, organic um, olive oil. Or, oregano so you fill this about half full and then shut that down and it seemed to and then what you do is you take like your and I have the organic olive oil that I made the salve with then you fill this up and then what's going to happen is this is going to get full obviously then I guess you Stir this up a little bit, and then you add more. And then from here, obviously, if you wanted to wait the six to eight weeks, which I do not want to try to wait the six to eight weeks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in my um, the June because that actually does have 100 degrees. Wow, that soaked all that right up. Um, it does have the 100 degrees. And I'll be putting that on there for probably at least one to six hours. I would say at least a one hour minimum. Um, but I'm working today, so obviously whatever gets done while I'm working, that's fine. And then you just kind of like stir that all up in here. It smells definitely like oregano, that's for sure. Now, obviously, when you go to strain this out, you know, um, I don't know for sure how many ounces I will get from this, you know, but like I said, it's worth a try. And I like to try to do things a little bit more healthy if I can. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this out. Scrape this off on the side. I'll just throw this in the sink. Get a little scraper out and... Should have probably been a little bit more around in that thinking that I would have to scrape this out, but so 
So this way you get as much as the oregano and the oil as you can. And then as you can see, it's on the pan. So what I'm gonna do is go put this in my June, like I said, for at least a minimum of an hour, probably closer to three. And it depends on if I remember to mess with us or not during the work day. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the June and I will bring you back once this is actually uh, ready to be uh, uh, sifted and uh, put in those little jars. All right, friends, I'm back. It's been four and a half hours since I put that in. I figured that's enough time. I'm on my break, so I figured it's a good time to do this. So this it looks like exactly how it did going in. I don't know for sure exactly what the uh, procedure when you actually warm it to like the 100 degrees for that little bit, how that actually makes things happen that much faster. But supposedly it does, and I'm taking the people's videos that I've watched. They know what they're talking about because they're pretty smart on some of that stuff. So I have my measuring cup with a little strainer. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough to catch this all. As you can see, it's starting to come out the bottom, you know, without me pressing down or anything. I hope this supposedly works, I guess, according to this few things. I mean, I was supposed to be a doctor. I mean, I'm assuming he knows what he's talking about. Some of the natural doctors um, that you put just a drop of this under your tongue once a day. And, you know, like right now with everything going on, you know, with um, everything that's still going on uh, health-wise and stuff like that, it's always helpful to be just a little bit more due diligent of um, taking care of your health, obviously. But like I said, I am not a doctor. If you tried this, this is on, on your, um, on what you personally believe. I mean, to me, oregano is um, very natural. The olive oil is very natural. Even if I did take it, I don't believe, well, I am going to take it, but you know what I'm saying? I don't believe that there is anything in this mixture that is going to harm me in any shape or form. So, all right. Now, these are actually the four ounce bottles. And I have eight ounces, believe it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and um, fill this. Make sure there's actually enough for both and I can go back and fill. Because what I wanted to do was one of these will be my husband's and one of these will be mine. I have to clean off the sides obviously. But this now is going to be, I don't know how long this will last, I'm assuming probably a couple months or so. And um, I would just keep this like room temperature, I don't think I'd put this in the refrigerator or anything. But this is what we have and it's in an amber bottle, which the amber bottles are very good to store. Um, uh, your medicines or essential oils or whatever in it. Um, I'm going to look into getting the. Um, I'm going to look into getting the actual or um, oregano uh, supplements too to see if that would help. Because you know, deep down, you know, with this trach issue, I mean, it, it bothers me to think that you know anything that happens. I mean, I try very hard to make sure my breathing stays on the up and up. So I'll be taking this, like I said, once a day. One will be my husband's, one will be mine. And um, I will have to keep you updated, uh, maybe in the comments of how I feel, or maybe make a, a video 
later on sometime and let you know how I feel about things. So thank you very much for stopping by. Um, if you try this or have tried this or know anybody who has, I'll let, let me know down below. And thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very, very blessed and wonderful day.